We have here um, our two master students from the Master of Arts, Strategic Communication Management from Faculty of Arts, Mr. Victor Singharat and Ms. Wantida Tiwari. And they're going to talk about this wonderful program. Take it away. So they have. My name is Victor Sihiroth. And I'm Wantida Tiwari. And we are the current students of the Masters of Arts in Strategic Communication Management here at Jolalongkorn University. So today we are here to talk to you a little bit about the course. Being current students in a time of COVID-19 is a definitely a very interesting time to be studying. So before we get into our experiences and what we've been through, let's talk about the enrollment process, yes, the admission process. So once you take so it away. So from personal experience and what I've heard from my friends and my classmates, it's not that hard a process. All you need to do is go to the faculty Facebook page or the website directly and click on the links and they will tell you everything you need to know. Your test scores, your SOP, that is statement of purpose, and your different bachelor degrees, transcript and everything else that you need and require. And once you've submitted that, all you need to do is wait for the interview list to come out. And definitely, the interview is definitely one of the exciting parts of this entire process, especially during our time when we had to do the Skype and or Zoom videos. It was very, very interesting. It was actually very scary. Let's talk about that. I was quite scared originally. I was nervous. But then as the interview was going on, I started to relax. The professors and the people that are interviewing us, they definitely made us feel at ease. And it was definitely a process for us to understand why we want to do this course as well. Yeah, and that's also one of the big things that we're going to be talking about today, that who should be applying to this faculty. The biggest thing that he said that why is why. Like you, need a, you need to be passionate about communication and the different spectrum of communication that it comes with, because if you don't have passion, this faculty could be a little tiring, because communication is a big topic. And you need to know everything to be able to, not know, you need to be able to learn everything to be able to have fun and enjoy the whole process of graduating from here, because it's fun. Definitely, that's one of the things that we were quite concerned about. We were thinking, we're in a time of pandemic, and how are classes? What is going to happen? Well, we are actually the first batch to do an online course, which was very interesting, I must say. Interesting in a very positive way. So now we had a lot of concerns thinking, will we get to meet our friends? Will we be able to interact with one another? Will we be able to do group works? And all these questions started to arise. But very quickly, as the course began, we realized that digital world is sort of the new play field in which we can do whatever we wish to do. Interactivity has never been the same. You simply do not need to be in the same room together, but you can still do the same things as if you were there physically. So what that means is our courses, all of our courses were online and we are able to join together every day. And during that process, the professors who are extremely knowledgeable in their fields would find ways to let us interact, for us to let to know each other, get to work in groups, sort of bond together in a way that surpasses that of being in the physical room, which was very, very interesting. There is this new creation called Zoom, which is something that transcends across boundaries and it's definitely a tool of communication that definitely makes us believe that, hey, even though there is COVID-19, but that does not stop us from learning and obtaining new knowledge every day and getting to know our friends as well. That's another thing. You need to be open-minded about people you are going to meet here because we have people from all over the world. We have Correct. China, we have Taiwan, we have Myanmar, we have Germany, Germany, we have Kazakhstan. Like It's a big faculty. It goes all over the world. And you need to be open-minded and you need, to be ha you need to have the communication skills to be able to co interact and connect with those people and learn from them, from your professor, because everybody is very acknowledged in their own field, in their own career, in their own paths. Even if you're students, they're like amazing students in the bachelor's degree. And that's what you need to be. You need to stand out in there while you be yourself here. Correct. That's one of the things that I think is very, if I could offer any piece of advice for any person who wants to apply for this program or even to learn in this program is to embrace it. At the end of the day, the entire experience is up to you, how you wish to make it. If you wish to make it a fun experience, make it full of experiences and valuable knowledge, you can do that. You have to be motivated, you have to be disciplined, but most of all, you have to have fun. So that's definitely something that both Juan and I feel that we want to leave with you. Is there anything else you want to leave with them? Um, 
actually just one little thing when you one way to embrace yourself and to show who you are to the com committee who will be interviewing you or who will be going through your process ap application process is to have a really original and creative and fun statement of purpose so that because everybody who will be applying here is very knowledgeable and they're top of the class and everything and they're like amazing students or people in the field <laughs> Statement of purpose is one of the things that's going to make you stand out from the crowd, and it's also going to show who you really are and whether you fit with us or not. So Definitely. yeah, that's one of the things. So before we get into questions and answers, we actually have a very special guest today, all the way from Germany. Germany. Yes, it is none other than our alumni, Jasmine. Jasmine. Hi, I'm Jasmine, and um, as Victor said before, I'm an alumni of this program. So I just recently finished the program at the end of last year and was very lucky to spend part of the program um, in an online class setting, uh, in an offline class setting, and was very lucky to actually meet my friends, meet my lecturers. And during the second part of my studies, everything moved online, which was still very smooth because we have a lot of like lecturers who are very invested. So um, as an alumni, let me tell you the advantages of this course. I think because we have a lot of lecturers from in the industry um, and a lot of classmates who's, who are already working, because our classes are from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the evening, so you can work during the day. So a lot of our classmates are working and a lot of our lecturers are coming from the industry. So during your studies, you will be able to gather a lot of connections and make a lot of friends who are already working in like a field that you're interested in. So if you put yourself out there, um, there's really no stopping you anymore after graduating here. So I will tell you a little bit about how to apply to the faculty this year, because of course, due to the COVID situation, everything's online. So um, applying here is very easy. Like, all you need is an English score, either an IELTS, a CU tab, or a TOEFL score. Um, or if you have already finished your bachelor's in an international program, you won't even need that score. But if you check out the website, it will show like all the documents that you need to submit, which, for example, include like your transcript um, and a statement of purpose, of course, um, stating what your interests are, why you want to study here, and maybe you can even also talk about what you want to do for your research. Because in order to graduate, you will need to do a research paper on any subject concerning communication that you want. The faculty is very open um, on a lot of topics. So if <laughs> I have friends who like did topics, um, I don't know, about BNK48 or others or gaming or like other things that they're really interested in but i also had friends who um decided to research topics that are like a little bit more serious like for example crisis communication or the current online market so if you want to join our faculty just um go to our website if you google intercom arts july it will um, take you there and then you just have to like look at what kind of documents you need and send them uh, via postal service to the faculty. You don't have to come to the faculty yourself to drop them off. You can send them via EMS or like DHL or anything and then just send a proof of um, the package and all the documents in an online version again to the email. So I hope to see a lot of new students very soon at the faculty. All right, so I guess we're opening up now for a few questions. questions. Yes, we're very excited. So if you have any questions, please feel free to add it downstairs. And then after that, we're gonna try our best to answer as much as we can in a limited time that we have. So, any questions? So I think a question um, is that, um, can you um, give us some tips about, you know, and also, no, this one is, you're talking about the interview already, right? So what is the tips for the interview again? One more time, please. So from my personal experience, I feel like the interview is a moment where you could really show who you are. I think that is one of the things that I could advise to you. I know it sounds quite 
hard. How do I identify myself? How do I tell myself to another person? But that's the fun of it. So this entire course is about communications. It's the way that you communicate. How are you going to make this person understand the essence of who you are and also the passion of which you want to study in this course? Because at the end of the day, this is the chosen path that you have chosen. Just to add to what Victor said, it's your time to show who you are. And as you already said before, the professors and the interview committee is very friendly. If, you, yes. if, you don't, if you're not comfortable with anything, you can just say that, oh, I, I'm not sure about this. So, and they will be really open about it. They will ask you something that you will be comfortable with and something they think that you know. They won't put you in a spot that way. So you can be happy about that fact. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's great. That was a relief. OK, sounds good. Now, the next question, what are the courses that you will be covering in this um, program? Um, so some of the courses that you'll be doing include consumer behavior psychology. This is one of the subjects that I must say I absolutely fell in love with. The fact that you get to learn about all these different theories, but then also apply it in today's standpoint. It's so interesting and learning about the consumer behavior, the psychology, the mental capacity behind it. It's very enti uh, enticing. But there's also digital marketing. We also have seminar classes, crisis management. We have uh, IMC. Media, media planning. Media planning. Statistics, just so you're OK with the math. Exactly. So there's a plethora, and I mean plethora of courses that are available that touch into all aspects of communication. So it's, it's important that, like we said, open-mindedness. You have to be prepared to sort of receive from all different parts. Um, we are currently in a seminar class where we're talking about recent issues and recent affairs such as Clubhouse, the installation of Clubhouse. We talk about the ethical side of things and it, one of the things that I really recommend is prepare yourself for discussion. The professors here love discussion and I once you die and I oh. we love discussion as well so it's one of the things that we hope that you guys embrace as well because the more that you share with one another the more you learn yes wonderful well thank you very much um, one last final thought from you all one last final thought you start okay. ladies first <laughs> um, I would just say as I said before be open-minded and be prepared you need to be up to date with everything that you do and even if you're not and if you're like just be ready to own up to who you are because it's going to be hard. Communication is a lot, like it's big. It's a big sphere of in communication industry mm -hmm. and you won't be able to cover everything, but be proud and be confident of what you know and show it to your professors. They will be impressed. Definitely. And I would say embrace change. I think that's one of the oh, things yes. that I have definitely felt is that throughout my entire time, even though we've only been through one semester, we're currently in our second semester, I've definitely changed a lot as a person, as a thinker, as a communicator. And I think that's one of the biggest things that I could advise you is prepare for change. Prepare to be the best version of yourself and embrace whatever experiences come your way because there is unforetold possibilities that await you at the Masters of Arts Strategic Communication Management. Wow, wonderful. That was such a great ending. Thank you so much, um, Victor and Kunwantida and also Jasmine. Thank you so much for walking us through this wonderful and interesting program.